Hey Grace Church, Michael Campbell here, pastor of Children's Ministry. Hey, just wanted to go over this Sunday's lesson, how it applies to your kids, but also how it applies to us personally. So we're gonna learn about how God rescued Peter from prison this week in Acts chapter 12. So hopefully this helps you dive a little bit deeper. Okay, so Peter, he, he's the guy who witnessed the, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to Gentile believers. And, and God made it clear that the gospel is for all people because Jesus is Lord of all. So he returned to Jerusalem and told believers, you know, what had happened. And at this time, other believers uh, who had scattered amid persecution were, were preaching the gospel. And by God's grace, people believed and the church actually grew because of it. But before long, King Herod Agrippa attacked the believers. He arrested Peter, killed James, the brother of John, and Herod put Peter in prison too, and he planned to kill him as well. And while Peter was in prison, the other believers prayed earnestly for him, and God answered their prayers. Guided by an angel late one night, Peter walked right out of the prison. He escaped to the house of Mary and told the believers gathered there what God had done. Then Peter left Jerusalem for a while because his life was legitimately in danger. Now, consider emphasizing one or more of the following points as you talk about the Bible story with your kids. First, prayer is powerful. God answers the people's prayers for Peter. When we pray, God hears us and we can trust that he is good and will act according to his will. Prayer shouldn't be a last resort at all for people um, because they might feel powerless about their circumstances, but it's powerful and we can call on the name of the Lord because um, he's the Lord of the universe and we can call to him anytime. Second, God is in control and God has a plan for Peter and the church. Herod couldn't stop God's plan and God rescued Peter from his enemies. Even when our plans fall apart, God's still in control. And finally, following Jesus is risky, but worth it. Peter knew he would face death because he believed in Jesus and many believers were killed because of their faith. But Peter didn't hide, he didn't give up. He kept going because he could share the good news about Jesus and he's worth living and dying for. And God answered the people's prayers for Peter. God had a plan for Peter and for the church and he rescued Peter from his enemies and he knew that he would faith, face death, um, but he kept on going so that he could share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So in short, here's some questions that you can ask your kids to hopefully dive a little bit deeper with the lesson. Question one, why was Peter in prison? So remind kids that King Herod was persecuting Christians. He had killed Jesus' half-brother James, and King Herod saw that the Jews were pleased, and so he also arrested Peter and put him in prison. So lead kids to discuss how the early church might have felt facing such intense persecution. Question two, do you pray big prayers? Why or why not? So invite the kids to share their thoughts. Praying might not seem like much, but remind the kids who they're praying to. Question three, what do we need to complete God's mission in the world? Well, we would need the Holy Spirit and we need God's will. And we, we see that as revealed in scripture, but we need to have a heart for our community and for people who don't know about the saving work of Jesus Christ and what he has done for us and what he has done for the whole world. So hopefully this, this story can encourage you. A few big takeaways from the Apostle Peter, but um, I'm praying for you always. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or any of the Grace Kids team. God bless and take care.